Which, <laughs> yeah, it's great, right? I think every gym bag needs this. 100%. <laughs> I know I do have one gripe about it. Okay, there is a major concern that's happening with your hair. It's a struggle. And yes, I know it's happening with your hair because it basically happens with everybody. But it's like none of the companies that are making these hot tools and flat irons and stuff like that really pay attention to it. The biggest problem is you get your hair finished it looks great, you leave the house, and then a few hours later, you're off to go to a meeting or to go meet some friends and your hair is just acting up. For whatever reason, it doesn't look how you did when you left the house, but what do you do? There's nothing you really can do, you're just kind of hosed. And until now, actually, uh, this might solve your problems. Let me show you. Oh, and Timo, uh, thanks for sponsoring this video. Come with me. What's up? I'll go somewhere. Are we at the nail place? You got it. Because you are constantly complaining about your nails needing to be done. Would have been nice to know. I could have done my hair. And that is where I have you covered. <laughs> yeah, I hate myself right out here. What is this? That is the Timo Porta. So this is going to be the answer to all of your problems that you're having with your hair right now. So check this out. Take your hair down. Okay, so now you've got a mess of hair. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got a real mess I'm trying to figure out now how do you style this now, right? So up until now, you didn't really have an option until this, now you have a portable wireless hair straightener. So all you're gonna do is it's really simple. You're gonna hit this button, okay? You're gonna hold it down and you're gonna notice that, why isn't it turning on? It's not working. It's broken. It isn't broken. So what's going on right now is you've got this little safety gadget right here. So when you pull that out, this is also where you actually charge this thing. So that's a USB-C port, plug that in and then it charges it, right? So now that that's gone, now when you hit this and you hold this for a couple seconds, right? It turns on, okay? Now you can see that that middle light is blinking right there. So there's three different temperatures. You've got 320, 360 and 395 degrees Fahrenheit. Right, so right now it's showing you that it's heating up to two, which is the default. But if you hit this power button again, it's gonna go up and we'll start heating up to the highest temperature. So depending on the texture of hair you have, you're gonna turn it on whatever temperature is the most appropriate for you. So once this stops blinking, that means that it's ready to go. Okay? Now this, you'll see that little blue light around there. Yeah. That little blue light means that you've got over 20% battery. If you see this turn orange, that means you've got between 10 and 20% battery left. If it starts to blink, that means you've got less than 10%. So that's when you- Hurry up and get your hair done. That means get it done quick, right? <laughs> so now, first of all, you just grabbed it, touched right here. Notice that you're not getting burned. Feels warm, yeah. but these got you got this protective shield right here, right? So that you're not gonna burn yourself completely. So now you've got all this kink in your hair, okay? Your hair's been bad. Oh my gosh. It looks <laughs> yeah, it's great, right? More kinks from my, from my ponytail. Yeah. Yeah. Grab some of the pieces in the back. I want to try a big piece. Yeah, try a little bit larger piece. She's so just going to go through. You just want to make sure that you've got good tension on it. So get good tension on the bottom, right? And then work it through and start. Once you start moving it, go at the same pace. Try not to go slower or faster at any piece, right? So you're going same pace. You're going to work it all the way through and go through those ends at the same pace. Don't speed through those ends. Right, and then give them a little bit of bend. Now, if you want more bend as you're going through the ends, you're gonna twist this wrist more, okay? And the more twist you twist it, the more it's going to start to bend those ends a little bit more, okay? You're gonna get a little bit more kind of corkscrew at the very bottom. Mm -hmm. You can see this, you know? So just keep in mind that the more you twist your wrist like this, the more bend you're gonna get at the ends. If you want it to be a little bit straighter, okay? You're gonna put that back in here and you're just gonna go all the way down, all right? like this, and you're just gonna try to keep this wrist kind of straight, and you're just making like a big C, right? Like that, so you're letting this motion create that bend, not twisting your mm -hmm. wrist and doing this, okay. right? So do the top. Yeah, you can, do the, you can do the top too. Now, if you do the top, watch, go all the way down and flip out at the bottom. So actually like twist it out pretty heavily. Yeah, like that. Not quite that much, but yeah. But see how that's flipped this out? Huh. You see how that flipped that out? Yeah. Yeah, look at this. Look, right? Flippy. Yeah. Now, if you want a little bit of, let's say you want a little bit of volume in the crown. Mm -hmm. So you'll take this. I'm actually going to do this piece, right? So you take this, take a section. And if you actually comb against the way that you're parting it, so you go to this side, right? And then you bring it over and you give it just a little bit of bend there, right? Just twist out a little bit. See how you get that volume in the crown now? Oh, yeah. Right? So you don't have a lot of layers in your hair, but let's say you wanted a little bit of bend. Let's say you wanted a little bit of wave. Right? If you wanted to wave, you could do the same thing. You could actually just twist this around the brush. Some wave. Yeah. See that piece? A little yeah. bit of wave right there. You've got these pieces like in the front, you have no frizz, right? They're smooth. Yeah. 
Right? Like it's and it's super fast. Yeah. Throw that in my purse easily. Better yet. Now watch. So you hit this button to turn it off, right? Now it's turned off. Okay. Then you just throw it back in your little carrying case right here. And boom, you're good I, to go. I think every gym bag needs this. 100%. <laughs> okay, now I've shown you a couple of things that the Porter can do and I've shown you kind of why I think it's the perfect take with you portable styler to kind of touch up your hair on the go when you need to touch it up. But let me show you its full power. This is Deanna's hair before and we actually just blue dry this upside down so we could kind of make it a worst case scenario. So you could see, I don't really think anybody's hair is gonna look this bad in the middle of the day for no reason, right? Now this is after styling it with only the Porta. Now she's got hair that's smooth and slick like that she wants it with no frizz. And that's actually why I think it would be the perfect gift with the holidays coming up. Uh, but there is still one thing before you run off and buy it that I kind of don't love, but that I want to be changed. So let's talk about that. So the thing that I don't love about this, oddly enough, is actually also one of the things that I like about it. And it's this right here. Now, it's not the fact that it has this. I think this little technology of using this as a safeguard so that this does not turn on, I think that's really smart. I think it's really well thought out and I think it's exceptionally important. So I would not want to lose this. And that's just it. I wouldn't want to lose this. My only gripe is the fact that this isn't somehow connected to the bottom of this, right? I would like to see some sort of plastic piece that just kind of allows us to dangle there so that when you do take this out, uh, if you're like me, you're gonna lose this in like 32 seconds. So all I would say is that when you do remove that, you wanna make sure that wherever you're taking it, you don't drop it like that. Found it. And that you instead put it somewhere safe. You know, is that a reason that I would tell you not to purchase it? Absolutely not. Does that somehow take away from the benefits that this has? Also, absolutely not. I want to see that little thing added, a little toggle. It's not that big of a deal. Just wanted to bring it to your mind or attention. Uh, pay attention to where that goes because that will get lost. But aside from that, I think it's a really good tool. And I think that definitely fills kind of a void in the market, if you will. There's just not a lot of options out there that are cordless that function really well. It's like this, you're gonna find a full charge in 90 minutes and it can last you on high heat for 30 minutes. So it's got enough power in here to uh, get the job done and recharge quickly. So if you wanna learn more about it, there is definitely a link in the description. Thank you again, Time Out, for sponsoring this video. Uh, definitely check them out. Otherwise, uh, I, I'm gonna go hang out somewhere, do something. Actually, what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna start planning for a trip that we're taking in a couple of weeks. We're like 10 days away from Africa. Just telling you, Africa. We're going, did I say we're going to Africa? We're going, we're going to Africa, so there's that. Bye.